Oh my god, I'm leaving my house to go to the doctor's. But I'm leaving my house. Hello. <laughs> I'm heading to go to my pain management appointment today. Um, and then I'll run by the pharmacy. And then I will be going to get a haircut. I have been having... A lot of issues with my hair. Um, I had shaved it years and years ago, which I loved it. Then my best friend got pregnant with her first child, and I, for some reason, decided it was gonna grow it out and not stop growing it, not touch it at all. And I did that for almost four years, and then I started trimming it during the pandemic because the ends were dead and it really needed it, so I just trimmed it myself, and then I couldn't fucking stop. It's like a compulsion. I have like. It's so many different lengths and none of it makes sense um and then i started looking at like kind of more gender non-conforming haircuts um or not non-conforming um i can't think of the word uh you know but you know i just started looking at other haircuts and I couldn't stop thinking about them. And I think I realized that I was getting, or I was having some um, dysphoria because of my hair. Um, I love my hair. I love the color of it. I love how it's kind of curly. Um, I don't love it on me. It's not, it, it was giving me a lot of dysphoria. So I'm going to go get my hair cut today. I'm very excited about it. Like I've decided last night for sure on doing it and like immediately got a surge of euphoria and affirmation before I even got it done so I just kind of solidified that I should I should go get it done so I'm very excited about that I will post updates so I got my haircut and while it's it's cute she did a good job it's not what I wanted um this is what I wanted And that's not it. So we're going to go back tomorrow. There's like a, we have a week to come back in and get it fixed if they didn't do it right, which <clears throat> they didn't. So <laughs> she was very nice though. And she tried, I, mm, she, it was just like, she wasn't, it wasn't clicking with her, even though I showed her like five pictures multiple times. I don't know why it, is she like, she did the undercut, but it's not high enough. It needs to go higher. It's, it ends right there. I think it needs to go a little bit higher or something. This is too long. Um, I tried to style it a few times. That's not working. So I'm going to go back in and have them fix it because it's not what I wanted. And I'm not thrilled about it. But I did get it cut. So I wanted to show that. It feels great. I'm going to tell you that. I can't stop rubbing my head. I, when I shaved my head, I constantly would rub my head because I love the feeling of that really short hair. Oh, oh, it's so good. So, I'm going to go back in tomorrow and uh, see, I want <laughs> it's way too long. I wanted to be able to have it go this way or have it go this way or have it go this way or have it go this way. And look good. I wanted to be able to have it curly or straight and look good. And um, this it just doesn't work. It's not working. It's way too long. It's just not right. It needs to be higher. That's not enough. I understand. Um, they she tried. She tried her. She tried. And I feel bad that I'm not happy with it. <laughs> so um, I will um, be back tomorrow with an updated hair. Hi, so I'm heading back uh, to the hair salon to get my hair fixed. It's a very cute cut. Um, they did a good job. It looks very cute. It's not at all what I asked for or what I want. And the thing is, is that I'm terrible at uh, confrontation and asking for what I want. It makes me very uncomfortable, <laughs> even if I paid for it. I'm sweaty, I'm nauseous, but I'm going to do it. I'm just going to go in. I have a picture, one that I showed them. I don't know, under, I don't understand what happened. So I'm just going to go in and be like, here is my head that I got cut yesterday. It is not what I wanted. This is a picture. Can you just make it look like this? Exactly like this. Um, I think I just maybe gave them too many options. 
or not options, but I was like, I want this cut, but with this length. And I think I just maybe confused them or they were like trying to fem it up. Or, I don't know. I don't know, but it's not right. So I'm going to go get it fixed now. So wish me luck. Tori understood the assignment. <laughs> as the kids say. <laughs> um, it's great. It's higher up. Um, it's very puffy right now because there's no product in it. Um, but since I've had two haircuts in two days, I am going to take a shower here and style it so there will be more video evidence of how great my new haircut is in a little bit i love it though i can swoop it this way i can swoop it this way i can slick it back if i want it's not gonna work right now i can do it forward um it's great i love it uh it's got perfect layers in it. It's drying poofy because I have curly hair and there's no product in it, but I'm still shedding quite a bit. So I need to get in the shower and, um, it's great. It's m much better, much better and more close to what I wanted. Um, I mean, it's what I wanted. So guess what I'm going to do? dyeing my hair <laughs> I don't feel super hot I think I have a cold and I'm not over it yet I just took some laundry and put it in the washer and I'm sweating and feeling crappy from that um, but it took like a minute to wash my hair just leaning over the tub so I'm letting it dry flat like this so that I can make sure I get it all parted and dyed correctly um, so I'm wearing my old glasses too um, so yeah, I'm going to dye my hair. I'm not bleaching it because I'm using this dye. I used it when my hair was long. Um, and you can, and I know it works. It's like made for darker hair. Um, it's not, obviously it's not going to be super vivid, but I really liked the color that it was last time. And I also really loved that on the silver hairs that I have, yes, they're silver. Um, the green like really pops and is like this really pretty emerald color so i'm very excited about that uh so i'm gonna dye my hair green um i would film it but i don't think there's enough <laughs> room on my phone for that so i'll just do little updates um throughout see you in a little bit Clearly I have some spots I need to clean up, but I, <laughs> I'm meant to leave this part brown and just do the top green, but then I accidentally got a little over here and I was like, well, I'll just do like halfway down green and then the rest brown. And then I did the back blind and I turned around with my mirror without my glasses on and <laughs> there was green all over it. So I just said, fuck it did all of it green so now i gotta wait about an hour and i'm gonna hop in the shower even says don't rinse off in the shower where where would you like me to rinse off you want me to go out back and under the hose i'm very confused by that part but i've i've rinsed this out before in the shower and it doesn't stain 
Um, and even if you get green spots and where it comes off like instantly with a little bit of bleach. It's a temporary dye, so I think it's easier to work with. So we got about an hour. We're going to wait and rinse it out and style it and let it dry. And I will show you how beautiful I am after with my fun new green hair. See you in a little bit. It is this. This flat midnight jade no bleach kit. Best for brunettes. That's what I am. Um, I don't know what they expire. And I can't tell you when I bought this. Or how long it's been since I dyed my hair green the last time. But hopefully my hair doesn't fall out. I guess I should have like looked into that. No, it's, it'll be alright. It's just, it's temporary dye. It's like food coloring for your head. All cleaned up. Took about a minute. Even got the back pretty well. Look like all this. See you in an hour. Maybe a little more than an hour after I wash it out. Anyway, see you a little bit. don't know if you can tell, but I am in my bed today. I'm not feeling super hot still, um, except for sexy. I'm feeling that because of my new hair. It came out very dark, but I like it. It's You can't tell very well because I'm not in any kind of light. Um, but it's like a dark, dark green, almost like a bluish. It's, it's really pretty. Um, I'll post some pictures here. To show you what it looks like in the light or um you'll see later in the video i don't know um but uh yeah i'm just not feeling super hot <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing with my hair uh i had it styled last night and then i just was so exhausted after dyeing my hair which actually didn't take very long because i hardly have any hair oh man um i think i did a video so you might have already seen that and seen how beautiful it is. Um, but yeah, I'm still not feeling good. I had a really bad headache. My sinuses are bothering me. Um, my heartburn's been really bad. So I'm laying in bed, being lazy today, doing a whole lot of nothing. Um, at least I got stuff done yesterday. You know, I dyed my hair. I did a load of laundry. I took a shower, which... Three things in one day like that is good for me, so I can not do a whole lot today and not feel bad about it. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, being lazy, watching some gameplay. Um, I do have this uh, other issue that is I have PCOS. And I can always tell when I'm ovulating from my left ovary, which is right now. So maybe that's why I feel so crappy. Um, it affects me so much in ways that I didn't know um, a ovarian cyst could. It hurts really bad for one thing. From like the moment I start ovulating through my menstrual cycle. Um... It, it causes issues with bowel and bladder. Um, I have trouble emptying both. Uh, it, it makes me feel like I have to pee constantly, whether I do or not. And then it's hard to empty my bladder. And sometimes I don't empty it all the way, so I end up having to pee like every fucking 30 minutes, which sucks. Um, and it hurts to use the restroom in either way, which sucks. So, um, you know, that could be why I'm feeling crappy. Plus, our pollen count's really high right now, so that could be why I'm having a headache. Just a bunch of crap that, you know, day in the life of stuff that happens. So, here I am on my comfy, adjustable bed. That's why I'm up. I don't know if I 
yeah, I've said something about it before, but I have an adjustable bed, so there we go. I'm going down. Woo! Going back up. Oh, wait, that's foot. Going back up. Woo! <laughs> so that's nice to have because I have to sleep sitting up so I don't hurt my neck. Um, and then sometimes I have to sleep laying down because my back hurts and it's compressing when I sleep sitting up. So it just depends on what's hurting or what I want to hurt the least is how I sleep. So it's, you know, sold my car to buy a bed. It was worth it. I wish I'd done it years earlier. <sighs> so I'm just rambling now. So, uh, thank you for popping in to see what's going on with me today it's very exciting my hair is awesome you can kind of see the color now see that really bright piece mm, that's my gray hair <laughs> mm, I'm not old I'm not old I'm young ish okay take care I'm probably gonna take a nap <laughs>